Hello everybody, this is LTM here. It is now 12.55. I got here a little bit earlier than I thought. I was trying to make it by one o'clock, but it, nonetheless, I'm at the Cinemark. Today, I am going to go watch Elvis. Now, I did not go see El... There were two movies that I missed to go watch on opening weekend, Minions and Elvis. Elvis and Minions came out during when I was on my trip to Anne Marie. Such a great trip, by the way. Um, so, I wanted to go ahead and get Elvis and Minions off of my to-do list. Minions, I'm going to come back tomorrow after my shift to watch, which is around like 3 o'clock. And I'm now I'm going to watch Elvis. And then Friday, I'm going to try, we're going to go, me and my friends are going to go watch Thor on opening weekend. So, there's that. Uh, I know it's been a while. This is my new channel, by the way. My old one is getting deleted soon. So, because of age restricted, maybe not age restricted, but more like warnings and stuff like that. It, it's complicated. But anyways, uh, I'm really excited about this movie. I heard, I heard it's really good. It's got a great cast. Austin Butler and Tom Hanks are in it. And it's also from the same director who also worked on the Romeo and Juliet movie with Leonardo DiCaprio and John Leguizamo and his version of The Great Gatsby, which also stars Leonardo DiCaprio. So really looking forward to this movie. Um, just like always, I'm going to go in Go watch Elvis, and then after the movie, I'll give you all my thoughts. So, this is LTM, and I'll be right back. Okay. Woo, that felt like eternity. So, like I said in this video, this vlog or review, I am, um, I have some sort of connection with Elvis. Um, I used to listen to some of the songs when I was a kid, thanks to my family. I, I wasn't the hugest fan of, I was not a big huge fan of Elvis growing up, but I do have a connection thanks to my family. So, with that said, Elvis is basically about his life, how he became this big star, how, how and most of the, all the political stuff that happens, as well as the focus of Tom Hanks' character, his manager. Um, there's a lot that goes on in this film. Like I said, this is mostly about Elvis's life. When I saw the trailer for this movie, um, the only thing that kept in my mind was, oh, this is just Warner Brothers' attempt to beat Bohemian Rhapsody. Well, okay. But what's Elvis going to do anything about it? And to my surprise, I love this movie. And um, I gotta say, uh, the director who worked on this did a fantastic job. And like I said in this, in the, in this video, the director would go actually made uh, movies, was also known for Romeo and Juliet and The Great Gatsby remake. So, I could see why he would fit this movie because, first of all, this is a great looking movie. Not just not just cinematography wise, visual wise, because everything looks fantastic. If you've seen the, most of the most of the director's movies, most of his cinematography and his screen and his cameras are always going around, a lot of weird shots, close to, uh, shots of the, close to the actors' faces. It's all in this film, and this has to be one of my favorite films from this director. The performances are really, really well done. Uh, Tom Hanks and Austin Butler is a real, really nails it as Elvis. I never met the guy in real life, but if, the, if I ever knew who Elvis was, this is the guy I would picture in my head. Uh, Tom Hanks does a really good job in this movie. In fact, this is technically his movie. He's the one narrating this thing, and he is do and you can tell he's really acting his heart out. Um, I also do like uh, some of the, uh, I didn't really know where it was gonna go. Even for someone who hasn't, has no much history about Elvis, this, I had no idea where the movie was gonna go or what it would, or where it was gonna, um, how it was gonna turn out. It did a really good job with that. The direction was very well spot on. My only problem with this movie is the long running time. I feel like some scenes could have been cut out like, oh, we didn't really need to know about this or we could have known about that. You could have said that for like the end credits or something, but you know, um, this is a really, really great movie. I really recommend it for those who grew up with the songs. I, if you love Tom Hanks, if you love any of the actors in this film, or even the director, go watch this movie, man. It's it's a little trippy and really long, but it, I, I, it's not. Ba but to be fair, it's not Batman long. And to be fair, it is a real. This is a really well made, put together film. Is it for everyone? Probably not. But I actually did have a fun time with this movie. Um, now, before I wrap up, I do want to say um, I will be going, like I said before in the video, I am going to watch Minions tomorrow after my job, and then Friday I'm going to go watch Thor. So, yeah, this isn't a double feature review, so we'll see how things go. Uh, 
Elvis gets a 8.5 out of 10. If it wasn't for the long ending, and maybe sometimes it could be a little too over the top for some, but for me, it was a fun ride. Definitely one of the better films I've seen this year. Overall score, 8.5 out of 10. All right, guys, that's Elvis for you. Uh, please subscribe, comment below, let me know. This is the L Team Sign out, and I'll see you guys next time.